Now that we know how to write out expressions for the equilibrium constant, we should be able to use these to do some really simple calculations. We can either measure equilibrium concentrations and use those to actually calculate the value of K, or if we know the value of K and we know the other equilibrium concentrations, we should be able to fill in one missing piece. And these uh, problems all follow the same basic procedure. The first thing we're going to do is write out the expression for the equilibrium constant. So that whole K equals products over reactants. We're going to write that out for my chemical equation. We're going to plug in all the pieces that we know, and then there should just be one piece left, and we just solve for it. Basic little algebra problem. So let's look at this example. A reaction mixture for the following reaction contains equilibrium concentrations of H2 and I2. What is the equilibrium concentration of HI? And it's giving me an equation, and the equation is K. So since it's asking something about equilibrium concentrations or something about the equilibrium constant, the very first thing we like to do is write out my expression. So products over reactants will have HI on top, and because it has that 2 there, we'll make him squared over H2, I2. So step one, we write out the expression. Step two, we plug in all the pieces that we know. Okay, so KC is given right here, that's 50. Um, it's asking for HI, so we must not have that. So we'll put that up there. And then H2 is, oops, 0.165. I2 also 0.165. And because the equilibrium constant expression is unitless, we're going to just drop out all of our units. So now we just need to rearrange and solve for this piece right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by the denominator down here to get rid of it. So we're going to end up with oops, HI squared is equal to 50 times 0.165, and I'm just going to simplify this and call this squared because I have 0.165 times 0.165, so that's just 0.165 squared, and I can do the math on that, and I find that that is 1.36125. So I don't want to stop here. HI squared is equal to 1.36125, but I want just HI, so really simple. We'll just square root that guy, and I find out that HI is equal to 1.2 molar. I'm using two sig figs because I had two sig figs up here. And that's it. I won't always be solving for this particular piece. Sometimes it'll have me solve for the equilibrium constant, sometimes for one of the pieces in the bottom, but it's basically just a simple algebra problem. I plug in all the pieces I have, rearrange and solve for that piece I don't.